Um, quick message to my mom and dad who are probably watching this. I could be spending my money on a lot worse things, so just be happy that I'm having fun. Hey guys, Josh here from Manitoba Fishing Adventures. I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited right now. Christmas came early for me. I have something in this box that I have been waiting for for a very long time. And a um, few first things, it's the last week in November, last week in hunting this weekend. And I only got two weeks left of the university until exams. So hopefully I'll be out on the ice sometime soon. I know there's about three or so inches out west, up north. Um, I want to get out there. I just don't have the time right now with school, unfortunately. But hopefully be making some videos sometime soon and get out on the water because I'm dying to fish. And this is going to, um, it's going to help. It's going to make life a lot more fun, a lot more interesting. And I got a special guest today, guys. You've seen her before. Um, this is my girlfriend, Paige. You've seen her a few videos. She's caught a few walleye in her time on this YouTube channel. And she has zero idea what's inside this box, but I think you guys know this because I kind of linked it in the video. I kind of have a rough idea what I'm going to name the title of this video. But first, we're going to introduce Paige. Paige, come in three, two, one. Ah, Paige, say hi. 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 That's the camera. Don't look at that one. That's I the know. monitor. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's Christmas basically for me. Um, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. I'm excited. Very excited. Christmas. Well, she thinks it's hers. I think it's mine. I'm going to let her do the opening and then we're going to actually dive into this video. This is just a little like a uh, preliminary, get you Intro. excited. Intro. Yeah. Um, subscribe too, by the way, make sure you do that. I got ADHD and I'm, uh, yeah. Okay. You want to open it? Yeah. Yes. You go. So she's going to open it. You said it's good for ice, which means it's something for you. No, I, we could be for you. I may have bought you a, uh, I don't fish. a new auger. I don't fish. Is that what it is? No, I'm not going to fit in this box. She doesn't <laughs> fish too often, so she doesn't. Uh, you can rip it open. You I'm so nice. trying. Just rip, rip, rip. The... I'll get scissors. I need scissors. No, mine. Can you push me? Can I see what that is? No, you can't tell. Here, open up from the top. It's not a puppy. It's not a puppy. I would never put a puppy in a box like this. This is not um, healthy. Go. Hey, excuse you. This is my present. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, I'm gonna need help. Oh! Sorry. Oh. Okay, ready? Hold on. You're gonna grab this end? Now I'm gonna grab this end and we're gonna lift on three. The kind of close your eyes, don't hit the light though. Ready? Get that is a... Keep going. I can't close my eyes. You, don't, you want to close your eyes? These are right. <laughs> it's like eyes. suctioned in. Lift, 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 lift. Drop it. Turn it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got live scope. Oh. Woo! Guys, uh, I invested into the channel, into my fishing career, and um, no, oh yeah, we gotta, we gotta talk about it first. So I purchased a Garmin Live Scope system in the ice bundle. This is the new one with the lithium battery. I think it's got the 90, 95 SV UHD screen head. But we're gonna dive in a little bit more. But yeah, what do you think, Paige? Now, see, here's the I thing. Don't know no, you don't. Under so she doesn't understand. This that is now, the camera. no, this is like the live like sonar technology that like the you can, new one. yeah, you can like watch fish swim. It's not the actual image, but like almost like um, what do you do when you're pregnant? Ultrasound. Ultrasound. It's almost like that. How <laughs> 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 you go back to what you did? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. So Paige is gonna leave now, and I'm just gonna sit off to the side, and we're gonna. Uh, start talking about why I chose this Garmin over the other competitors and um, some of the things I'm looking forward to. Merry Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so live imaging. Um, I went with the Garmin live scope system. And if you don't know about live imaging, it's basically real time sonar, but you can actually see your lure move up and down, but also the fish swim in. It's got a really wide angle. It's shooting down. You can shoot 
in forward mode so you can look out to like 100 feet and there's also like a perspective mode where it kind of gives you like a, a scan I don't know how to explain that one really besides showing it but um, there's three big manufacturers when it comes to live imaging there's Garmin LiveScope which is the original um, company who came out with live imaging and then Lorance came out with a live site that wasn't the greatest, but they've actually revamped it. It's called Active Target now, which is awesome. And then just recently posted and released, it was the new Humminbird Mega Live. Now I'll be 100% honest, I originally ordered the Humminbird Mega Live because it was the newest live imaging on the market. I've used Humminbird's Summer and Ice, and I'm most familiar with that. And there's gonna be, there's a few pros to the live. Um, the reason why I went with the Garmin is because this supply and demand issue and supply chain management right now due to COVID, you can't get your hands on these mega lives. When they come in, I work at the fishing hole, we have a whole bunch of pre-sold. We're only getting them in by like five or 10 deucers and I needed the whole package. So I originally ordered the Helix 9 mega live bundle, um, but I wasn't going to be getting it till probably February and that's just too long to wait. And Garmin um, continues to push the boundaries if you want to call it, surprise me. I watched a lot of videos, I've talked to a ton of people who have owned this garment and no one really has any complaints. That is, that's, that's the big thing. Um, another thing with the Garmin is it's got a few pros. Like, so like the screen, for example, that comes with this is a touch screen. I know it's not a big deal to some, but for me, I'm, I mean, my phone's touch screen, my truck screen is touch screen, everything's touch screen. It's a little bit more intuitive, a little more user friendly. Um, it's, it's just, it's had its, its paces put through, I guess. They haven't thrown something out there just to kind of keep up with the other competitors. They've kind of set the benchmark and uh, I'm just super excited to finally get my hands on one and be able to, to own one. So we're going to kind of open this up and I'm going to keep talking about some other things. Um, but yeah, let's, let's dive into it. So let's see what happens. This is the ice bundle. So we'll see what we get in the ice bundle. A lot of boxes. This, this is the bracket for the pole system. So you got different attachments here. I don't know if you guys can see that. So for different ice thicknesses, you add more uh, sections to get it longer to get underneath the ice. Got that. Uh, looks like a carrying case for probably the head unit. Some screws, don't wanna use those. Uh, another skin box. And here we have the 95 SV UHD, which I'm also going to be honest, I'm not very familiar with Garmin Electronics. I've used LiveScope. My first time using it was this summer with a couple buddies, um, my buddy Brayden. Um, I was with uh, Jay once on his boat, so I kind of got to use it and get a feel for it. So I'm very new um, to Garmin, so it's going to be nice. I'm going to learn hopefully a few things that I'll be able to share with you guys if you don't run Garmin or maybe some things that you might run on Hummingbird or Lowrance that are different on Garmin. So it's, it's, a, it's a learning curve and a learning experience for me too. Um, charger, probably. Yeah, charger. Put that down here. Try not to lose anything. Some brackets, some pull brackets. Put that down here. And then we get into the juicy stuff. This is the whole, ah! This is the whole bag system. Oh, it comes pre-made pre it looks like. Nice. Look at that. Sweet. Boom. That's it. Where's the front? Front's over here. Front's over here. Okay. Okay, so this is kind of the ice bundle. It comes already pre-assembled. I'm just gonna have to clip the screen in the front there. Clips it nice and easy. <clears throat> so, one thing that's new for this year is they all come with lithium batteries. This one has a 16 amp lithium ion battery that I'm actually gonna be uh, swapping out for a 23 amp Dakota lithium battery just to get full days out on the water where I'm filming or whatever that I'm not gonna run out of juice or if I'm doing a little bit overnight trips or something. Just more battery capacity, right? Um, so one thing with the live scope systems and the Lowrance systems is you have a head unit, you have a uh, black box or a module, and then you have the transducer. So that module does require uh, battery usage, so it's going to be drawing a little bit of battery, not much, but it's still adding more. 
versus on the Humminbird Mega Live, there is no black box. So on the transducer, there's just a power cord and an ethernet cord and that is it. So that is one bonus to the Mega Live is that if you say, for example, you buy one and say you wanna add two on your boat, if you have the money to do so, um, you don't have to buy a deucer and a black box. You just buy two separate deucers, they connect through ethernet through a port box and away you go. So less hardware, less installation, just a little bit quicker to take on and take off and uh, yeah, a little more versatile, if you're portable, if you wanna call it that. Um, okay, and so I've seen a lot of videos, I'm sure some of you guys who watched the video too, about the differences between Active Target, Mega Live, and Live Scope. Um, Jay Siemens, he did an awesome video last year on the ice comparing the Active Target and the Live Scope. Really showed you the differences, some pros and cons between the two. And I'm not here to tell you one is way better than the other or um, that you shouldn't buy this one. I'm not sponsored in these companies. I'm giving my own personal preference on what I see and what I would like. So for example, on some of these videos online right now, I know someone just released one about a week ago comparing all three on the water, Lorenz, Hummingbird, and Garmin. And what I found was the Mega Live was very clear. The overall clarity, there's so much hair around here. The overall clarity of the image was extremely clear. The background was black. You saw your lure, you saw everything nice. Um, the live scope looked a little bit more uh, grainy, if you want to call it that. Um, but you really saw the detail in the fish, in the branches, in the shrubs. And then the active target, was, I found it was like a hybrid between the two. It had a better overall clarity, um, like the hummingbird, but still showed you a lot of detail, like the Garmin. What it really comes down to is where you're fishing. So for up here, Garmin doesn't have a lot of mapping options in Manitoba. Uh, Humminbird has the Lake Master Manitoba chip, which has over 100 bodies of water in Manitoba, and also like Lake of the Woods, the Winnipeg River, River System in Ontario, all in one foot contours. Lawrence has um, Angler's Edge mapping, who they've gone out, they've recorded, I think over like 70 different lakes in Manitoba and some in Northwestern Ontario, which gives you one foot contours, which doesn't seem like a big deal, but when you're out on the ice or in on the boat, you can see the depths before you're even there. So for example, ice fishing, you have to drill a hole, check a depth with a flasher. Not with a Lorance unit. You can plug in your Anglo's Edge chip and you can see exactly if you're standing on this spot, 10 feet of water. Over there, 14 feet of water, et cetera, et cetera. Same with the Humminbird. That's the one thing that Garmin kind of lacks right now is just mapping here locally in my area. So that could be a pro or con why you might go with the Humminbird Lorance if you're fishing here in Manitoba or Northwestern Ontario is they might have mapping on bodies of water that you're fishing on. Um, it could be as simple as that, right? So overall, you cannot say anything bad about any of these units. If you have one of the three, it's, it's amazing technology. It's something that 20 years ago, you would have never thought could be possible, but now it is. It's, uh, it's very cool. I just to see like every time I work the fishing hole, we're always like, what's next? You know, is it was down scan, then it was side imaging, then it was 360, now it's live. What is next? That, that is the crazy thing with the fishing industry is it's always evolving, it's always changing, um, and there's always something new coming out. So uh, that's my quick little spiel. I'm gonna power this bad boy up just to kind of show you guys a couple quick things. So just give me a couple seconds, couple minutes, let me try to figure this out, and uh, we'll see you right back here. Okay, we got this bad boy powered up. Check it out. This is basically what it's gonna look like. You know, some trees, maybe we'll see some fish cruising through. I'm not gonna talk about this too much because there's tons of videos already out on YouTube and hopefully I'll be making some pretty uh, fun content this winter fishing for a whole bunch of different species with this. But yeah, here's the, uh, here's the big old deucer. That's, uh, that's the magic maker right there. So I'm gonna mount that, add a little bracket, put it on a pole system. And then the only other thing, like I said, it comes with a 16 amp hour battery and I'm just gonna swap it out for a 23 just to get a little bit more run time. So um, yeah, so once again, this is just a, a spur of the moment type thing, if you want to call it that. I'm very excited. This has got me really pumped for the ice fishing season now. Um, if you're looking to get a live imaging unit, whether it's Humminbird, Lorance, or Garmin, uh, message me uh, at my business email down below or message me on Instagram or visit me here at the Fishing Hole Winnipeg and um, we'll get you set up. We'll get you set up ready for the ice, whether that's live imaging units, rods, reels, tents, whatever. Um, I work just about every other day at the Fishing Hole, so uh, come on down and I'll give you a hand. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Christmas came early. I am so excited now for ice. You guys don't even understand. It's gonna pan this out more. So um, with that being said, make sure you guys are subscribed, like this button, leave a comment down below. What are you fishing for for your first species this year on the ice? 
and we will catch you next time. Hopefully you'll be out fishing or maybe doing a little bit of a lure demonstration. So we'll see you soon guys. Josh out. See you next time.